In this video lesson, we're going to look at the Favorites palette and how you can um, migrate Favorites from one version of ARCHICAD to a later one. We're looking at the uh, sample project in ARCHICAD 12, and I've set up um, some Favorites here for wall types. You can see the ones that say MT for Master Template Wall Types. Uh, there's a few different windows and doors um, and a few objects just uh, for uh, purposes of uh, study. Uh, we have a cabinet, a bathtub, a plant, and a refrigerator. Um, now if I double click on, let's say, refrigerator, we'll see that the um, uh, element here is refrigerator side-by-side -side 12, so it's a, a version 12 refrigerator, of course, and same thing with the plant. When I double click on that, it's plant 0212. Uh, so let's say that we want to take the, these favorites into a project um, as we move forward into ARCHICAD 14. Uh, I'll go ahead and use the pop-up on the favorites palette to save these favorites. And when I save them, um, I can place this file wherever I like. I'll go ahead and, and uh, place it here and give it the same name as I um, had earlier done, which is AC12 Favorites. I'll save it and overwrite the earlier version of that file. Now I'll switch over to ARCHICAD 14. And in this 14 project, we have a blank um, project untitled that was based on the US standard ARCHICAD uh, template. Uh, what that means is, is, of course, it's using the ARCHICAD 14 library. Um, it also has different layer naming um, than the master template one. So we'll see what complications that causes. Uh, in the favorites palette, you can see some wall types, but none of them that say MT, and we'll see some, you know, objects such as cabinets, but we don't have the plant or the refrigerator. Um, and uh, so these are the original favorites. I'm going to go ahead and load favorites. And when I choose load favorites, I'll pick the AC12 favorites that I just saved and open them. And it asks me, do I want to replace or merge to the current favorite list? If I say merge, it will add them in. So I'll have both the old and new, or the, you know, the previous set of favorites and the new ones I'm bringing in. If I say replace, I'll only have the new ones. That's often what you want to do for the you know, clean results. But for training, I will use the merge option. I'll click on merge, and you can see instantly the list has gotten much longer. We've got a combination of the original wall types and the master template or MT wall types. We've got some um, windows and doors here, but notice that some of them are gray, such as the casement window or the entry door. That means that these parts do not exist in the currently loaded library. So they're inactive. If I double click on um, one of these ones that's gray, it will not actually switch to be ready to place in that favorite because it doesn't have a door by that name. So in order to work with older favorites, I'll need to go to the File menu and Libraries and Objects, Library Manager, and load in the earlier library. So in addition to ARCHICAD Library 14, I'm going to go click on Add and go find ARCHICAD Library 12. Now in versions of ARCHICAD before 14, if I did something similar, it would allow me to load the other library and then at the end of the loading process, it would say, oh, you've got a bunch of duplicates, which generally wouldn't cause too much problems, but isn't a clean process. And uh, so it's not advisable in general if you can avoid it. With version 14, Graphisoft um, made a big improvement. So when I say choose, it actually immediately notices if there's a problem, that there are, I'm loading two full ARCHICAD libraries at the same time, and it offers to um, switch to use the migration library. So I'm going to click on that. It then loads in the 12 migration library and 13 migration library. So now all the parts that are uh, in a project from 12 or in favorites from 12 will be supported without having duplicates. So I'll say OK. You can do this manually in other versions of ARCHICAD by loading in subset or migration libraries yourself. But in 14, it actually um, does it for you at least it offers that option to do it for you. Now, as soon as it's finished, you'll notice that, for example, casement window and entry door, these things are now available. They, um, uh, it now has loaded those parts. Uh, let me go ahead and, for example, um, pick up um, one of the objects. So I'll 
go switch to the um, object tool and say that I'd like to um, put in a bathtub. Uh, actually, let me put in a refrigerator first. So I'll put in a refrigerator and um, I'll click and you can see that it has put in a refrigerator and when I select it and we open up the settings, we'll see that it is a refrigerator side by side 12 here. Um, now, if I wanted to switch this to use version 14 part, um, then what I would do is I would go manually find the part down in the Archicad 14 library here um, and um, switch it. Uh, now, you may recall from lesson uh, from week four that there's a quick way to do that. I can go to Find Library Parts, use this little pop-up at the top where it normally says Folder View, and type in, you know, Refridge or any part of the word and hit the Enter or click the Find button. And you see that it's showing me that there is um, a few parts that have this in their name. We're currently working with Refrigerator Side-by-Side -side 12, and I'm going to switch it to 14. But instead of just clicking directly, I'm going to hold down the Command and Option keys on the Mac, or Control Alt on Windows, and that will give me the syringe tool. So now when I have the syringe tool active, by holding down those keys, I click the mouse while still holding down the keys, and it has switched to the side-by-side -side 14, and I say OK. And now you can see the part is actually using the 14 one. Now you may have noticed a slight change here if I undo this You'll see that the F actually changed its orientation. I'll redo it, and you see a couple little changes. The, the proportions of the door changed a little bit, um, and the F flipped. So if that is something that I, uh, matters to me, I may want to look and correct that um, change. Uh, or I can just leave it alone and say, all right, that's actually just fine with me. Now I'll select that part, and I'll click once on Refrigerator and tell it that I'd like to update or redefine the refrigerator with the last selection. That will actually update the favorite. So now when I double click on refrigerator, it will be using the version 12. I'm using the current version 14 one. Now let me look at bathtub. I'll double click at bathtub here and we'll see that it actually says that the bathtub is on a missing layer. Sometimes you'll see this layer pop up be empty. I've seen that or it may have the word missing. So if I go ahead and try to put in the bathtub, it tells me that the former layer of this tool has been deleted. Please choose another layer. So I'll say choose a layer. It allows me to go ahead and pick a layer here, just like normal. And I'll pick, say, something like a floor of fixtures. Um, here it could be whatever layer I want, and say OK. Um, and we'll see that now I've got this tub in there. Now the tub, again, is a bathtub 12, so if I want to have the favorite actually refer from here on out to the version 14 one, I'll need to switch this particular part that I've already placed from bathtub 12, find library parts, type in tub, hit enter, and I can then switch it to bathtub 14 holding down the syringe tool, command option or control alt, hold them down, click, it switches, and say OK. Now, you'll notice, if your eye was really fast, that there was a different hotspot. There's a red hotspot or magenta hotspot here. If I undo, you'll see that this is the bathtub 12. If I redo, this is bathtub 14. So it actually is a different part because I can now move the drain. So the reason why Graphisoft actually changed the name of the part or changed it so that it doesn't find it automatically is because this part is actually a little different. It's smarter. Now, I'll contrast that, and, and we can, of course, go and select this, select bathtub, and say that I'd like to redefine it with the last selection, and it will now have, every time I use this favorite, it'll put in a bathtub of this type, version 14. Now, when I double-click on plant, this one was from Archaea 12, but it actually automatically switch to plant 0214 because that plant object did not actually change and I can simply click and place it. So it's identical to the plant object that was in version 12. just has a slightly different name. Now let's go to the wall tool and see um, 
a, a different type of update that we need to uh, take care of. If I go to, um, let's say, a standard wall type like this um, exterior 2x4 with stucco um, and draw, you can see that it's got some composite information here. Um, and I can do that with a variety of these um, uh, you know, that um, might work. Let's take this one here. And you can see that this composite works fine. So these master template favorites came through just fine. However, I'll point out this one, and there are more than one like this when I double click on it and I go and draw it. It looks quite different. It is not a composite. If I zoom in on it, you can see that it's just a mono element. It has just a simple fill in there, even though the original one is an interior wall with chipboard on both sides, gypsum board on both sides. The reason for that is that this composite definition does not exist in this file. In other words, the wall type wouldn't show up in the options menu, um, element attributes, composites. It just doesn't exist um, in this file. Um, so the, uh, in fact, if I go to the wall settings, you'll see that it says cut fill is missing. Um, so let me go and fix that. I'll switch back to ARCHICAD 12 and I'll activate in the wall tool the same favorite that I just had. So I'll double click on this and let me zoom in a little bit so we can see it. And I'll draw that same wall type and you can see that it's just a simple cavity wall with um, gypsum board on both sides. Now I'm going to select this and copy it and I'll go back to our key at 14 and watch carefully. I'm going to paste this in and I'll just paste it in the current view and move it over to the side a little bit and click outside to confirm. So the wall now came in just fine with the composite definition and if I shift my view at all so that Archicad refreshes the screen, I just zoomed in a tiny bit you notice that the wall right next to it, which was pocheted, actually now has the correct definition. So this wall, if I, the same one earlier, it said it had a missing cut fill. Now it's brought in AMT wall 2x8. So basically, by pasting in a sample of that wall piece, the composite was added into the definitions. Uh, we would, again, we would see that under options, element attributes, composites there. So the um, way that you're going to need to update um, favorites in this area for walls or floors or roofs that have composites is you'll need to place one example of each one of these onto the plan. See if any of them have problems like um, I did earlier, uh, this particular one. Um, and any that uh, are not showing up properly, you'll need to bring their definitions in from the earlier file. And a simple way to do that is to select one or more elements from the other file, bring them in here and paste them down. And when they get pasted, the definitions will come across with them. Uh, you can also use Attribute Manager to bring in uh, these definitions uh, if you like, but copying and pasting works beautifully in this case. So in summary, to update all of the favorites, you can go ahead and, uh, well, initially you're going to save the favorites from the earlier file. Later in ARCHICAD 14 or the version that you're working in, you're going to load favorites and either merge or replace. Um, if you just do replace, then you'll have only the uh, favorites that are being migrated, and it may be a little simpler to see what you have to um, uh, clean up or check on. Um, after you've done that, uh, the simplest thing to do is to place an example of one of each of those favorites down and look at it. If it's a wall or a floor or a roof composite, uh, if it came through just fine, if it looks like what you expect, you probably don't have to do anything much. If it is, um, if it comes in with a blank uh, fill, then you'll need to uh, go and copy and paste in the uh, a sample piece um, in order to bring in that definition. For the objects, whether it's doors, windows, or freestanding objects like cabinets or plants, um, you'll need to place them down one at a time 
um, and uh, then switch them manually to the new library part, um, perhaps using the parameter transfer method in the uh, library part window, and then update the um, option. Uh, the one that says redefine with last selection is often used. Of course, before you are able to use those old library parts, even to place them on the plan, you'll need to load the old library along with the new one so that you have access to those parts, otherwise they'll be gray. And then as a final step, you can go, having converted everything, you can go to Libraries and Objects, Library Manager, and remove the additional libraries. So for example, the 12 Migration Library and the 13 Migration Library, you might highlight these and click the X or use the Remove option um, in the Library Manager, and basically then uh, get it back down to only the current library. Uh, you'll know you're um, uh, in pretty good shape if none of the um, uh, favorites that you've got listed turn gray, because if they do turn gray, that means that they're using the older library and aren't loaded in the current one. Uh, finally, after you've uh, got all the favorites updated, you can uh, continue work in this project, build your building, uh, but if you want to make a uh, sort of a, a reference copy of the favorites, you can again go save favorites create another PRF file, and this one now will be um, using the only the latest version of the library, so it'll be quite um, uh, portable for any project file that you're um, working in in the, in the new version. Um, so that's the way that you're going to migrate your favorites from an earlier version of ARCHICAD to a later version and update um, all of the library parts and bring in copies of uh, attributes such as uh, composite walls um, that uh, would support the favorites or actually be referenced by the favorites. So uh, I hope uh, this was clear and I uh, look forward to getting your comments. Please uh, leave them down below in uh, the area below this video and uh, we'll uh, be proceeding on to the next section of the uh, uh, course which will be on the interactive legends. So thanks for watching.